More on our top story on green data centres with Singapore looking to add 300 megawatts of power to help the sector cope with the demands from using AI. And I have with me two guests to shed more light on the roadmap. Dr. Jenna Puticherry, Senior Minister of State for Communications and Information, and Mr. Wang Wai Main, Chair of SG Tech, a trade association for Singapore's tech industry. Mr. Wong is also CEO at Keppel Data Centers. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me this evening. Um, Dr. Janil, so we know that data centers, they are typically energy and water guzzlers. So why is the government focusing on data center sustainability? Well, data centers are central to our digital economy. And with so much of our economy based around services, uh, they ride on a digital backbone. So the kind of businesses that we have here in Singapore, the kind of job opportunities we want to create needs digitalization and needs some growth in our digitalization capacity. So we have to have more data centers if we want more compute, more, more racks, more computers here mm. in Singapore to be able to power this. But because they use energy, they use up a lot of water, we have to make sure that the data centers that come in are greener and, and ha have less resource use and the ones that we have become more efficient over time. So we announced this roadmap so that we can increase some capacity, the 300 megawatts that you just talked about. We want for that to be greener and more efficient, uh, but actually we're not stopping there. There's an additional margin over and above that mm -hmm. where we want to use green energy and unlock even more possibilities in the data center space. And from the proposals that we've had from industry partners, we think there's at least another 200 megawatts that we can unlock through green energy deployments as well, on top of the 300 megawatts. Right, you know, saying that, but will putting up more green requirements actually make the data center um, industry in Singapore become less competitive? Because, you know, after all, we just announced today, right, we're just hearing today that Google is um, pumping in about $2 billion um, to Malaysia um, to develop their data center cloud facility and even training, um, you know, people for um, AI. Well, we don't have a lot of choice if we want to grow the data center space in Singapore because we have commitments around uh, peaking our CO2 emissions, getting to net zero. We have constraints about how much energy we have and how much energy we can import and how much we can use. So if we're going to grow the sector, it has to be greener. So yes, the, it may make the operating constraints a bit tighter, but actually the industry is very, very interested in what we're doing here in Singapore. And the reason is what we're facing, the rest of the world is going to face at some point anyway, uh, because of the issues around energy and carbon. So we're just getting there sooner. We, we've got to learn about it faster and we've got to do it better and, and get going now. All right, uh, Mr. Well, I want to bring you into this conversation. The roadmap um, has um, energy efficiency and the use of, um, you know, green energy. Which area do you think, uh, you know, right now, have, that has the most potential um, to achieve our green goals? So both are important efficiency, but at the same time, where the potential lies is mm -hmm. really the use of green energy. And herein lies the opportunities, right? So basically, if you have clarity, and what this roadmap is giving is really clarity that Singapore has the ambition to really stay competitive in the digital and AI and tech uh, uh, arena itself. So that is where you can aggregate sufficient scale. And scale is the key word here, that you can provide sufficient, significant and meaningful demand uh, for the consumption of the energy, green energy itself. That's where you can really encourage and catalyze investment for green infrastructure and do the green import and that could accelerate uh, so-called energy transition for Singapore. Right. Yeah. Um, so, Dr. Jenner, what does the data center ecosystem entail then? You know, c can it push boundaries towards um, sustainable growth in Singapore's data center ambitions then? Absolutely. The roadmap that we're launching today, we developed together with the data center industry as well as the rest of the industry players that are the clients, the suppliers that use these data centers. Um, and we didn't just start here. We actually launched the digital connectivity blueprint at the end of last year, again developed with industry. So when we say, look, uh, 300 megawatts at least, maybe 200 megawatts more if we can have green energy, maybe even more if we do well, actually this is not just the government's ambition. This is the aspiration and the ambition that the industry has. Um, and so the entire ecosystem of data center operators, data center users, but also the energy suppliers, I think is very excited by this. And, they, and we in the government are hoping that we can then see those partnerships and those ideas result in this type of capacity expansion. Right. Um, Mr. Wong, what do you see SG Tech's role mm -hmm. um, in building these partnerships to help make this um, roadmap work? Mm. Exactly what SMS Janu mentioned about the whole ecosystem. And this is the 
what we, what we call the carbon digital dichotomous challenge mm. uh, that can be solved by any single player effectively. And that's where you need to create an ecosystem. The solution is actually in the word ecosystem. How do we bring together the whole of government, all the players in the DC and tech industries, uh, and even the wider ecosystem of the sustainable uh, energy industry players themselves coming together to solve this problem. And actually, that actually provides the platform, the platform for collaboration uh, to be done, right, to solve this and tackle this uh, difficult challenge. All right. Uh, so, um, Dr. Jenna, why must we try to grow this business of green data centers without losing touch of sustainability then? Well, it's important because the data centers are key to our digital economy and the digital economy is key to our economy as a whole. Yeah. But getting the sustainability part right is important to us as a nation in terms of our resources and our carbon commitments and our energy footprint. So it's an exciting time that we can see this as an opportunity to do two things which are difficult, but you put them together and it creates some new opportunities. Digital sustainability, it's something that we can get a handle on. All right. how soon do you think we're going to um, achieve or get there? Well, okay, <laughs> we, we haven't set a timeline because this is an exploratory process. We want to get going on this together with our industry partners, together with our ecosystem partners. And each time we do it, actually we'll learn more about how to be more efficient and how to use more green energy. So then the next project perhaps can have a greater degree of ambition. So it's an ongoing process. The 300 megawatts, we're confident right now. The next 200 or more, that's work that needs to be done, but this is the sense of scale that the industry has already. Mm. Data center operators coming together with energy providers and saying, this is the scale of our ambition. So we're going to get going as soon as possible, but it will take some time to get the work done. But the, well, the near to medium term is our, is our way a of phrasing. Timeline. Okay. That's our timeline. Yes. Um, so, gentlemen, I'm going to pose both um, these questions to you. Um, you know, um, Dr. Jenna, why don't you start first? You know, would you say that there's a limit as to how much we can actually green our data centers? That, you know, there's actually a limit, a finite limit to, you know, what you can do? I don't think so, and I hope the answer is no. But part of the process of the, the part of what we're trying to do with the roadmap is find the answer to that question. If we can get enough green energy and we can apply that green energy to the data centers and have that as a viable business model, actually, there's no reason why we should sh stop at the 300 or the 200, mm. which is 500. We should be able to keep on going. But we have to find out along the way. Mr. Wong? Mm. I would say it's really limited by only our imagination itself, right? So I want to add another perspective that's a little bit more ambitious. Exactly as MS Janu mentioned about the constraint that Singapore has. So no later the rest of the world will be faced with this. But we're put in the situation, we have to innovate. We have to deliver the outcome and the solution to break this dichotomy and make both work as opportunities, right? So if you look at it this way, sooner or later, with these solutions, when the rest of the world faces such challenge, Singapore then has a solution and the innovation that can be exported to the rest of the world, whether in parts or in whole, to deliver sustainable digital infrastructure for the rest of the world. Right, so we want to have that first mover advantage yeah. here. All right, thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming in and speaking to me on this uh, topic. Now, I've been speaking with Dr. Jenna Puticherry, Senior Minister of State for Communications and Information, and Mr. Wang Wai Ming, Chair of SG Tech and CEO at Capital Data Centers.